Hi, I'm Shane with ETR.com. Today you're gonna to be taking a look at, I'm gonna walk you through the installation on the Weston Sure Grip running boards for your 2018 Ford Explorer. There are many different reasons to add running boards to your vehicle. Maybe you wanna dress it up. Maybe you have some children that like to have a hard time getting in and out of the vehicle. If you know kids, they like doing stuff on their own. Maybe you have parents or grandparents that have a hard time stepping up into a vehicle or pulling themselves up into a vehicle. This is gonna give them a solid foundation and an extra step to help them get in and out of the car a little bit easier. This kit's gonna come with two steps, one for each side of the vehicle. They're both gonna be 72 inches long, which means it's gonna provide a step not only for your driver, but all passengers in the vehicle. Each step is going to be constructed of an anodized aluminum, so it's going to be rust proof. They're also going to have a four and a half inch wide rubber pad that's going to run the full length of the board. It's going to have grooves in it to channel water away so it doesn't pull up. Help us maintain that sure footing during those wet conditions. Our steps are not only going to be functional, but they're going to add style to our vehicle. They're going to have rounded edges that are going to fit nicely with the contour of the vehicle. We're going to have an insert back here that helps the step look like it's integrated. Each step is going to have molded end caps to help finish off the style of the step. And if we have children or elderly family members, there's also light kits available to help see that step a little bit better at night. Those can be found here at eachother.com. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get them installed. We're going to start with a flathead screwdriver. The rocker panel plastic cover here is going to have some little clips on the inside all the way down the side or all the way down the underneath of it. We need to pop those out so that we can loosen this up. The two very front ones, this one and this one, we're going to take completely out. The rest of them will just pop out because we'll be reinstalling those. And we're going to take some cutters. We're going to have to trim this down because we're going to be putting a flat washer, lock washer, and nut on here. Let's go like this. Just to give us a little more space. You're going to have two J-bolts. Actually, you're going to have four of them. You're going to have two for the other side. They're going to look like this. We're going to insert this in. You're going to have to move it around. get it to sit just like that. Do the same thing here, same thing on the other side. You're gonna have a, bolt, a couple bolt plates look like this. First one is gonna be right inside. You're gonna see a large opening. You take it and you're gonna slide it in just like that. Then you're gonna put on a plastic retaining clip. This is just to keep it from pushing up into the frame of the vehicle. We're gonna take our front driver's side bracket. You wanna make sure that this lip here that's going on the outside is facing the rear. Again, this is the front one. This is gonna be our passenger side. We're gonna go, we're gonna pull our rocker panel out like this, or the rocker panel cover. We're gonna slide, and this is where it might be easier if you have your door open. Get our hardware. Slide in there. Right. And we're going to take a large flat washer here on the bolt underneath, lock washer, and then a large hex nut. Here for these, we're going to put on flat washer, a lock washer, and a knife. We have another bolt plate in the rear. We're going to have another hole, and this is underneath the vehicle. We're going to do the same thing here. Put our nut plate in. We're going to take our passenger side rear bracket. It's going to be opposite. This flange is actually going to face towards the front. We're going to set it in place like this. Go ahead and put the nut on, the bolt here, like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark this spot here because we're going to have to drill a hole. We're going to take our small hex bolt. We're going to pull this out like this. 
and then slide it into the hole like that. We'll take our rear bracket in place. Flat washer. Lock washer. Flat washer, lock washer, and nut. We're going to take our board. We're going to have square head bolts. We're going to slide it in the front slot and the very back slot. Like that. We're going to put two at this end, two at the other end. We're going to flip it over. We're going to line it up with the slots in each bracket. We'll take a three quarter inch socket. We're gonna tighten our large bolt underneath the vehicle. Directions are gonna tell you to tighten these two. What I suggest is take this off uh, and then tighten them down because if you don't, when you get a wrench right here, it could scratch this edge. So now I'm just gonna slide this off, set it aside for a second. Take my 916 socket. You're gonna take a half inch socket and wrench. Tighten this one down on the rear bracket. Go ahead and reinstall your fasteners for your panel. And you're gonna have a guard that looks like this. If you flip your step over, you're going to have three Phillips head screws. Pull those out. We're going to slide this end cap off. We're going to take this guy. And we're just going to slide it right in this, in this uh, channel. Just like that. And we'll reinstall our end cap, and we're going to take our step, and we're going to slide it in just like this. And for each one, we're going to put a flat washer and a nylon lock nut. Now what we need to do is center it. What I'm doing is I'm taking this edge right here and lining up with this edge. On the front and the back. Should line up this edge with this edge. You can either pull it out all the way out or you can push it in. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out, take a half inch socket or wrench, and we'll tighten our bolts down. Once you get one side done, you're gonna repeat the process on the other side. Again, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. I hope this video has helped you, whether you're still deciding or installing the Weston SureGrip running boards on your 2018 Ford Explorer.